Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another week of fine vaping programming on the original vaping media network, Vape TV. This is the Vaping Evolution. I'm your host. My name is Dwayne, but my friends call me AG. We have a special treat for you this evening. Todd from Todd's Reviews is going to be joining us. Let's have a big round of applause for Todd. Golf clap. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? I feel a little bit sad about my Illuminati because an engraved tube, tube kind of a, a fake it wasn't Illuminati, it just had some engravings on it. But somebody bought it for a thousand dollars. Which means it's now tied for the Illuminati for the highest priced I hybrid on the market. And that makes me sad because this should be the highest priced one. I know that Todd had one of these. I bet he's kicking himself. I have absolutely no vape mail. Nothing. I had a friend, Debo. He sent me a, a, a Typhoon or K-Fun or something like that for me to try. I do have that. Oh wait, I did get I did get vape mail. I got I got a fifteen dollar Terminator sort of. I don't know. It's like a copy of the uh, whatever that one thing is. That one tank atomizer. The killer. I got one of those. I haven't used it yet though. I really wish I had a better tank to put it in because I'm kind of afraid that this one's going to fall apart while it's in there. I'm going to pick it up and everything's going to fall apart on me. But I got a nice cheesy drip tip with it too. So maybe I'll play with that at some point. Oh, and I did get a, uh, I can't even remember what this thing's called. It's a something tank. But it got sent to me to check it out. It's supposed to be a Genesis tank. If I can get the top off of it. But it, it does, I don't know how you'd use it as a Genesis tank. Oh, I just took the airflow off of it anyway. Because it's really kind of set up inside to use a silica wick. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. But I'm going to give that one a try too. It's sort of been sitting here for about a week because I had a lack of enthusiasm about it once I saw it. So, there's that. Other than that, I've just been vaping. Vaping, vaping. Kind of a boring week, really. Lots of drama going on, of course. We've got the, uh, the big uh, Wild Valley e-cigs versus faceless thing going on now. I'm really not going to go into that. I'm sure that some of you have seen what's going on there. Celtic Gate, yeah, let's call it Celtic Gate. That's a mess, man. That is a mess. I, f I feel sorry for everybody involved with that one. Because there's just nobody coming out of that looking good, really. You know, I, I probably know more of the story than I really should. And I'm not going to say anything about any of it. Because I'm staying the fuck out of it. <laughs> I, I already got in a little bit deeper than what I should have. And now I'm just... You'll hear no comments from me on my show about that other than it exists but I didn't I did feel like I needed to bring it up just because I was kind of like I wasn't really in the middle but I kind of you know you know how it goes so anyway without further ado since I have absolutely nothing of interest to say we're gonna bring Todd on well, let's see here let's unmute him Hello there, Todd. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. All right. I turn this music down just a little bit more. I don't even know if you can hear music. <laughs> nope. Can't hear a thing. All right. How are you doing this evening, sir? Thank you. I'm tired. 
<laughs> yeah, it's getting late there, isn't it? What, one in the morning or something? Yeah, it's one in the morning, yeah. I was going to stay out in the shed, but it's absolutely freezing out there. Uh, I know that some people are going to be disappointed because they don't get to see the shed. No, <laughs> I had to come in here anyway because Boogie Nights is on the TV, so I'm watching that just now. And and where's your puppy? He's, he's... Come here. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be right and proper to do this without the dog getting a cameo. Here's, here's the dog. Who's that? Who's that? Look at him. <laughs> He's a cute little booger. There's the, here's, here's the real reviewer. <laughs> <laughs> he does a much better job than I do, that's for sure. If you can, va if you can vape him out of the room, you know it's working. <laughs> Oh no, he loves vanilla custard. Oh, does loves he? Loves it. Does he? Yeah. And that's pretty yeah. much all you vape, isn't it? Vanilla custard? Yeah, that, that's pretty much been it for, oh, it must be about seven months now. Uh, yeah, that's good stuff. I have a bottle of that. It's getting kind of low. So, eh. Yeah, a I've got bit. about 300 mils in the shed there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he was a kid, and that, that stuff gets better as it sits around, too. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it, it used to be uh, pixie juice. Loved the pixie juice, but uh, you know, don't know if you know that, E.G. But uh, you know, Eve, the girl that actually ran it, you know, she had to shut down because she wasn't, she wasn't keeping well. But I mean, she made some lovely e-liquid. What, what what was what kind of flavor was that? Uh, she did one called Cool Orange. Uh, Oh, she did several, and they were just beautiful, really nice, very popular, very very popular over here. So, were you a were you a menthol guy then? Because cool orange sounds like a menthol to me. That that's what I started off on was menthol. Um, I started off with the menthol because I used to smoke menthol fags uh, or cigarettes. Uh, that's okay. You can call them fags. We know yeah. we know what you mean. Uh, so uh, I, I used to. I used to smoke them, so that's kind of what I started off on. What brand? Uh, what brand did you smoke? I, I oh, consulate. Consulate is that? Yeah. A, is, are those from the UK or where do those come from? Yeah, I think they were UK ones. The, the UK ones. Uh, they were either that or well, I actually started off smoking. I used to steal my my mum's. She used to smoke the Super Kings, uh, Berkeley, or. The, God, I can't, I can't even remember now. Yeah, uh, Barclay. But, I've seen Barclays here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you posh tart, tart Todd. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just reading them. <laughs> yeah, don't let those guys distract you because it, it's like the peanut gallery in there. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. no, that's that's my that's my e-liquid. I'm quite lucky because well, I don't do the I don't do e-liquid reviews anymore. I haven't done them for a long time now. Yeah, I haven't done one in a while either. Did Grant make you a picture? Great. He did indeed. Yes, he, he, he did indeed. He made me a picture. That's well. Let's see it. Can you see it? <laughs> Because I because I posted it up on Facebook about Grant's vanilla custard, and he didn't ha he didn't have his website up and running yet, but yeah. he, but he was like testing it and stuff, and uh, well he had it up and was testing it one night. All of a sudden he started getting like he got like twenty five orders for Grant's vanilla custard while he was just testing his website, and he's like, oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> I took and then you have, and then you have Grant over here in his uh, in his coffin being carried away by a bunch of vapors because he had a heart attack because his brain exploded or something. <laughs> he's crazy, man. He's funny. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Really nice guy. Uh, he says sport a lot. <laughs> sport. Yes. Do you say bloody? Do you, know, do you say bloody a lot? I say bloody a lot. Yes. Well, I say other words a lot as well. But we'll not get into that. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, well, we have a mutual friend that we, we both speak to on a regular basis. A very a very nasty man with a poor temperament. 
Yes, who, yes. I, I think he, uh, the, he brings out the worst in us, I think. Yes, very much so. He's, he's, he's a strange man, it has to be said. He is. Uh, he's a sad man. Yes, yes. It, he is Scottish, so he, he, I'll go easy on him. In, in fact, this will be the only time ever that I will get away with uh, slagging him off. Oh, uh, yes. I think we should make a point to slag him as much as possible this evening. <laughs> I'm just seeing <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it looks like he's here. Yes, uh, he is here, yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Graham. I'm sorry, mate. Uh, he'll he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Yes, yes. Uh, so what? I've got to, go ahead. Sorry, on you go. No, go ahead. I've got to ask. Does does he send you strange pictures? Oh my gosh! You don't even want to know. No. <laughs> 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 Seen no <him> more. Seen no more. <laughs> <laughs> he called us the Muppet Show. <laughs> 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 All right, Todd. So, how did you get into vaping? What what got you started? Um, gadgets. Love gadgets. Um, I went out to the smoke shelter at work one day, and there was uh, one of the guys I worked beside was puffing away on a is a, a Reva five one zero and a cartomat Reva battery and a cartomizer and I uh, asked him all about it and he gave me a web address two days later I, uh, it arrived and that was the day I stopped smoking uh, so how so do I don't know so you probably got that from Liberty Flights like everybody else right no it was uh, I'll not even remember I can't remember the, I can't remember the name now. I think it was Swap Smoking or something like that uh, but, uh, so you're vaping right about a year right now, I think? A little over a year? Yeah, just over a year. It just was uh, March the 28th, I think it was, I stopped. Something like that. So you got into the reviewing pretty early on. Yeah, uh, within the first two or three weeks. Because <laughs> you are one of the most prolific reviewers there is. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just a guy in a shed with an opinion. <laughs> I, and it, and your opinion about three or four times a week a lot of times. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I mean, you keep busy at this. I enjoy it. I've, uh, I've, had, I've heard other people referred to as the hardest working people in e cigs but I kind of give you that credit because there is nobody in front of a camera as much as you are. I've... I've got to be honest, I don't plan or put any, th <laughs> probably shows, I don't put any plan or thought into my reviews. <laughs> I, no. I mean, I literally just sit down and switch the camera on and yeah. and go with it. Neither do I, but I think it's more obvious that I don't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I think you hide it well, E.G. I think you I hide just, it well. I just sit there and I think about it for about five minutes, what I want to say, and then I go. And see, I don't even have a fancy beginning like you do. You got that nice intro. You have multiple intros, even. I need to, yeah. I need, to get, I need to get one of those. I, I get bored very easily. <laughs> <laughs> and you have different theme music and everything. I get requests. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, see, I'm not that popular. People don't request shit from me. Well, the more popular you get, the more haters you get as well. So there's a balance there. <laughs> well, I have my fair share of haters. <laughs> <laughs> no worries about that. If you've ever seen my show and heard my rants, you'd uh, you'd understand where I get them from too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our, our mutual friend uh, he does speak highly of your. Uh, your show, uh, so because <laughs> he likes watching me get drunk and go off on different topics. <laughs> That's something new. I've only been doing that recently. I don't. I don't really drink much, and so just a a few a few drams, and and I'm off. Especially especially if I got something to be riled up about. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't drink tonight, or you'd be hearing me going off about i hybrid stuff and this whole about Celtic Gate. 
Have you yeah. Seen, did you watch any of that? I, I did read some of it, but uh, nah. I mean, they're green. I mean, I don't want to get involved, full stop. Me, I mean. <laughs> me neither. Me neither, but it's just kind of like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... Uh, he's a good lad, faceless. He's a good lad, but uh, that's... Yeah. Just a bad situation. Uh, but I mean, a bad situation for everybody all round. Uh, it's a shame that these things happen, but... Yeah. Yeah, well, it's not the first time something like this has happened. I mean... Uh, you know, we uh, Bruce usually does a show after mine at Cloud from Clouds of Vapor. Yeah, and, and you know, Emio and and Vapor Kings got into it. You, you know, probably right about the time I got vaping was when Vapor Kings quit carrying the GG and and Bruce started carrying it. So there was there was a lot of drama around that too. Yeah, but that kind of stuff happens. You know. It's, yeah, it's the evolution of the whole thing, I suppose. Very true. Uh, very, very true. Uh, <laughs> so you had a Riva first. Where did you go from there? Uh, I then got something. I went straight into a mod. Uh, well, if you could call it that. It was the, the Argento. Uh, oh, God. And I forget. It was, it was... I forget what else it was called. Then Indulgence? No, the... the it, I think it was a copy of something else back then. Uh, it was very similar. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just looking at the score. He's trying to stub the shit here. Uh, <laughs> um, so I, I, I got in with with that, which was, uh, you yeah, know, it was just a, it was an 18, 18, tube tube mod uh, with a, you know, a wired switch and all the rest of it, and then I got into cattle tanks from there. Do you, and, uh, do you remember what your first review was of? It was actually of a 6 mil glass tank, uh, if I remember right, but that was only like two minutes long, and then my first review was actually the the bully, the, bully. uh, the bullies. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah that, was, that was my first rebuildable, was a Bully A2. Yeah, it, it was uh, the A2 as well. A, no, the A2 TM, is yep, it? the A2 TM, yep. Yeah, that was... Uh, so that and the... God, what was it called? Electropipes um, LV. The LV, top. yep. Yeah. I have one of those behind me. <laughs> I, just, I just, I had two of them here, but they're, I've given them away now. So yeah, you move, you move stuff along. I just accumulate stuff. <laughs> I can't seem once I get it, even if I don't like it, for some reason it just sits here. I can't seem to get rid of stuff. No, no. I don't know. I don't like selling stuff. Really, you trade you trade a lot of stuff away though, don't you? To get other things to review. Yeah, I mean. What I tend to do is, if I, I mean, I buy my own stuff that I really want to get hold of, I'll buy it. Uh, but the stuff that I get for review, it all gets given away, apart from, say, you know, like I've got the Pulse there. Uh, so that's, that's going to, I'll trade that or I'll sell that off to pay for another mod, yeah, similar mod. You'll have to trade that to me, because I, I want <laughs> I think I want one of those. <laughs> they're they're quite good. the 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 bottom switch is a bit crunchy at first. Is it? Uh, yeah, but I, I, you'll know yourself. It's uh, I polished out the the inside of the the locking ring, you know, the bottom switch, right. and it it took a lot of the crunch out of it. So yeah, the JM twenty two was kind of crunchy at first too, but I yes. I cleaned all that out real good, and that's a nice smooth switch now. Yeah, yeah, uh, that that. I actually just sold mine. It went to the states. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, but no, that was a good mod. Uh, but no, that, that's that's how I started off doing the the reviews. It was just it was just people asking, "Oh, you've got one of them? Can you show us what it's like?" Yeah. So, 
So that, that was it. That was sort of how I got started too, you know, just doing little vapor production videos and things like that. And when I got something new, I, you know, that I wasn't necessarily the first one to have it, but, you know, there weren't a lot of them out there yet or something. I'd do a little short video of it. I only started doing real reviews probably in October, something like that. So, yeah. So you've been at it a bit longer than me. Um, you know, a lot of people know you for doing uh, the rebuildable stuff now. You know, you do a lot of rebuildable Genesis atomizers. You, you pretty much had most of them come through your hands at one point or another. So uh, what was, which one, I know you said the Bully was the first one, but what was the first Genesis tank that you had? Do you remember? Uh, my God. Because I remember you having a Cobra. Was a Cobra the first one, or did you have some before that? Because the Chinese came in last summer and had some out there. I had the did. Yeah, the did. I think I think the did was the first one I had. Uh, I I had the did, and the did actually it broke me. <laughs> it just <laughs> it was ah uh, oh, hot spots. Oh, um, I re I remember watching your struggles with them when you first got them, and you weren't you weren't liking them very much. <laughs> you had the what the hell are people seeing these things kind of. Yeah, I mean, I actually went back to. I went back to Cartos uh, because I just the did just well actually the did and the the Cobra the Cobra especially it it totally uh, am I allowed to swear? <laughs> you can swear. You can uh, swear. Fucked me right over. It just, <laughs> <laughs> it's. Uh, but then I, I went through a phase of, of staying away from them, but then I went back and I bought another uh, Cobra from uh, Alba Vapors uh, and I cracked it uh, and that was it from that point on. I've just stuck with rebuildables. I love them. I just, I love fanning about with them and just, I mean, I must, Ah, uh, I'm recoiling about two or three times a <laughs> it's, it's a bit sad. Uh, well, you know, that's that's the fun of them, is getting to play with them a little bit and getting them set up the way that you like it, you know, and get, yeah. getting them all operating. Where do you usually set your resistance at? I used to be about 1.5, but just recently, I mean, you've got all this sub-ohm stuff going on, uh, as you well know, but I... I tend to stick about the one 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 point one. That's kind of where I like to be. Right. And do um, you have, do you have a preferred draw? Uh, usually about depends. Um one point three is probably my favourite. On a dripper, uh, a good dripper, I do, you know, an area draw. The area of the draw all the better, especially with the uh, the dual coils now. Uh, that's just great. Oh, you're into dual coils now, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, and <laughs> just, I've got to say this, how many subscribers do you have? <laughs> I'm just reading another comment by that. Yeah, Scott wants to know if you do dragon vaping. <laughs> dragon <laughs> <laughs> so. Quit it. <laughs> yeah. uh. Do you do that? Do you do you do one of these every time before you stick it that. stick it in your ear first? Oh god. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you've had like all these devices. And yes. I know and I get people that ask me the same thing. Dwayne, what's your favorite one? Well, fuck. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> How do I pick a favorite one? I got like eight of them sitting here, and I like all of them, you know. <laughs> but, but okay. In all seriousness, if you had to like pick three of them, you know, like you're leaving for the weekend, and you got to take three devices with you because you know your wife said you're not bringing the suitcase full. Ah, right. Uh, number one would be the Nova V2 hybrid. Okay. 18350. 
because it's built like a tank. It's about as agricultural as you can get. I mean, there's nothing fancy to it at all, but it just works. <laughs> it's, uh, I love it. Really like it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I have to start reading that bit in the side. <laughs> yeah, you need to see to hide the chat. <laughs> uh, uh, number two would be... I'd have to be an Ayati. I've, I've, I like go, the original Ayati, or are you talking an Odysseus Ayati? Oh, the original. The original uh, Ayati. Yeah. The old school, uh, version one. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I think that that and the K-Fun are, for me, are the two best Silica Wick rebuildables. But the, the Ayati, I think, because the you know, the coil sits higher than it does in the K-Fun, you, you get an almost, you get the same kind of heat you do from a Genesis. Uh, Love it, absolutely love it. Uh, and that would be with a nemesis. Oh uh, yeah, the nemesis. Uh, Don't get much nicer than that these days. No, no, it's just, I mean, the the battery adjustment, the... Have one right yeah. here, have one right here. Yeah, it's, it's, it really is a work of art, it's really good. Uh, <laughs> Peacemaker likes the Poldiac. I didn't like the Poldiac. There you go. How's that for controversial? Uh, but uh, <laughs> right, I'm hiding this chat. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> uh, it's a wee go away. Okay, what's uh, what's number three? Uh, number three. Oh dear God! Uh, I love my rollers. Uh, the roller and the dingo. The uh, probably the dingo. And what atomizer are you going to stick on top of that? Um, <clears throat> I would take my UKVA Maxi. Just because it's. I, know, I go on about this a lot. I'm a bit of a prat when I start whittling on about this stuff, but you know, it was. I just love the fact that it was built by one guy in a, his little lathe and his workshop, and it's all titanium, and I ah, love it. Just love it to bits. Uh, and that's what I'm vaping just now. Uh, my UK VA Maxi on a Nemesis. Very nice. Yeah. Now, now I, I seem to remember that that you caught some static for your lack of love for the Hellfires. <laughs> <laughs> you wanker! <laughs> <laughs> I've done uh, two or three reviews on the Hellfires. And in those reviews, I've stated that I think they're from, they're built really well. Uh, I think the, the the larger of the two is, you know, it vapes really well. I don't like the Hellfire Mini because it was too harsh for me, um, and it was never. I'll come straight out and say it, it was never the actual Hellfire devices. It was the. It was the fanboy shit <laughs> that went with it. Uh, that's kind of where that all came from. Uh, yes, I mean, don't you love fan I, don't you love fanboys? Yeah, yeah. It's ah, uh, oh, it's no secret. Most folk know about it. I mean, that's but. Well, the Hellfire has pretty much the most renowned fanboy group in the in the world. Yeah, and it's you know, I'm, and there's a, and there's others too. And being a fanboy isn't necessarily like the worst thing in the world, but 
when you start getting belligerent about yours is better than the next one, it's one thing to be a fan of a product. It's another thing to insist that yours is better for some reason. Oh, oh absolutely. I totally agree. I mean, that, I mean, I mean, I did the reviews on the Hellfire Mini and the the Hellfire after all the carry on and whatnot that happened with vape pit and you know darren and things like that. i did the reviews afterwards and i still gave my honest opinion which was i thought they were very good devices i mean i would never let my feelings for that fanboy base cloud my you know my opinion of the device itself i mean i i mean i think that uh, no, I'm coming out loud and proud here. I mean, well, I mean, I, I've, I'll say the same thing. You know, the they're they're nicely built. They're very nice devices. You know, the guy's making them in his shed. You know, as far as the quality, you're really not going to get any better. Now, as far as for my vape, they don't really match up with me all that well because I am one of those sub ohm people, and if and especially the uh, Hellfire Mega, if you do dry burns on a Hellfire Mega you can pretty much kiss the insulator goodbye on it <laughs> because the insulator is right behind the coil you know yes. it, it's a poorly placed insulator on that particular one yes and absolutely. i mean I, I don't think there's really any denying that you know I mean, uh, but I if, mean, but if you're using a 1.5 ohm coil on it i don't think you'd ever have a problem with the insulator because it's never going to get hot enough for anything to happen but you know if you got a point eight on there and you're trying to do a dry burn yeah you can you're it's gone you know yeah yeah uh, I, I just found it was the mini i just found the mini too harsh a vape i mean like i've got a couple of mini bees just arrived the other week from doc dave and uh <laughs> i put up a review tonight on it and it wasn't even a review it was just me gushing uh, over them because they were the, the vape was perfect you know it wasn't too harsh at all uh, and I loved them for that it, you know it's all personal taste at the end of the day well hey I'm a Doc Dave fanboy too and I love those four air holes on that cap yeah absolutely. you know that that just makes a nice smooth draw you know and there's just there's just something about the way that those vape have you gotten a hold of a steam turbine yet? No, not as yet. I mean, I'm, all I've had from Doc Dave has been a Bliss V1, V2, and now the two Mini Bs. Yeah, uh, wait until you get a steam turbine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wait until you get one of those. You're going you're gonna to find love again. <laughs> I, I really like that one. That That is my overall favorite Genesis atomizer that I have ever picked up. I have a couple of them. I have a, t a titanium and a stainless steel, and I, I really like those. Um, let's see. Let's, so, let's look at our questions here. I know that we've gotten way off topic here. So we got your devices and stuff. You didn't even know what tobacco alkaloids were, so we'll just skip that one. Didn't okay. have a clue. Okay, so... How about what has vape? What vape? Blah blah. What about vaping has impressed you? What about vaping has impressed me? Yeah, and then to the and then to the contrary, what about it has disappointed you? Maybe you can throw it all into one there. What's okay? What's impressed you and what's disappointed you? What's impressed me about vaping? The community. Uh, I don't know if that's the kind of answer you're looking for, but that's what's impressed me the most. That's actually that's the, actually the most common answer. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so much for being original. Um, no, it is. I, I've got to say that, I mean, when I started off vaping and then found a forum and started getting into it and people helping you out, and uh, it's, you know, it's just fantastic. That's... And also the even when you're outside and you you know you meet another vapor. Uh, I mean, we went to Malta on holiday last year, and uh, you know, walking along the street, I had a little Eagle battery with a steam machine on top of it, and uh, 
I, I met so many vapors over in Malta. It was unbelievable. But you know, you just start chatting and you're talking about what you vape, what's your flavour. You know, that whole side of it's just great. It really is. I mean, doing stuff like this. I mean, it's uh, really enjoyable. Um, yeah, well, having a YouTube channel and stuff like that, and hearing back from people and being able to interact—that's kind of fun. Yeah, very much so. It's. Uh, I'm just. Oi, stop it. Sorry, my dog is licking his nuts at this moment in time right in front of me. Stop it. Uh, you should bring him on camera. We enjoy that kind of thing here. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he's right. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> well, I noticed, that, I noticed that you were kind of a late comer to the uh, social media called Facebook, but it seems like you're embracing that rather well. Yeah, I mean, it was... Uh, I switched off comments on YouTube uh, because I found that it, it, it's too easy for... Uh, yeah, you get trolls there. You, you get so many trolls, but, uh, you know, if they're on Facebook, you know, they've got a name and you can, you know, give as good as you get. Um, and, and I mean, you know, it takes up a lot of my time. <laughs> It's, it's also very easy for people to get a hold of you and keep asking you questions and stuff. Yeah, like, see, you're, your... see, you're far more approachable than I am, so I don't get all those questions. <laughs> <laughs> go, that Dwayne, he's kind of a dick. I'm afraid to ask him. Oh, that's Todd, oh, that's Todd instead. <laughs> Todd will answer me. He won't be an ass. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, uh, no, it's uh, I quite like the Facebook side of it, and um, and now Mark Wahlberg is trying to masturbate on TV. Get away, God! <laughs> what did you say? You're watching masturbation TV? <laughs> it's a f <laughs> not getting into that. <laughs> don't don't touch it, literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, th this wasn't in the questions list by the way. <laughs> it certainly wasn't <laughs> so uh, so what disappoints you about va about the vaping or the vaping community I mean is, have you been disappointed like in are there products that disappoint you or juices or people's attitudes or I mean what what about it disappoints you? The government's stance towards it? I mean... Uh, do you know that the biggest problem I had when I started vaping and the thing that was going to turn, that really almost put me off was when you start vaping, you you see all these uh, cheap e-cigarette sites and they're all selling e-liquid. And so that's what you, before you find the forums and things like that, that's what you tend to buy. Uh, I spent a fortune on e-liquid when I first started vaping, trying to find something that uh, was vapable, because it was utter shite it was. Uh, yeah, I, then, st I still find maybe one out of five is something I would vape. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that, I mean, that, it's the, I think, I, I don't like the, as a new vapor, unless you really investigate it first, you're going to come across, you know, these sites, you know, they'll sell you an ego kit for, you know, say $60 when it's only worth 10 uh, but, you know, they have all this spiel, you know, that the, uh, it replaces your cigarette habit, and it's it does this and it does that, and uh, you know it's, it's it's I think it's very easy for people to get caught out uh, when they first start vaping. Uh, did you have um, any kind of problem switching from cigarettes to vaping, or did it take you a week or a month, or do you still have one every once in a while, or? No, I, I, honestly, the the. The day I got my Riva battery was the day I stopped smoking. Uh, I haven't had a cigarette since the day, that day. Uh, 
so I, I, I can't really complain. The, the only thing I wish I had done was I'd known more about milligram strength because I started off vaping with, I think it was, uh, it was six milligram and it, it just wasn't strong enough. Um, right. Um, I, think, I think that's a problem that a lot of people have. I think that, you know, you hear the, the start out low thing and I'm the opposite. I say start out a little bit higher, you know. I mean, yeah. if you're smoking full strength cigarettes and you're going through a pack a day, there's no reason you shouldn't start out on 24. Yeah. And, and if yeah. you and if you find out that that's too much, then drop back a little bit. But yeah. you know, starting out at something low, you know, that's kind of you're gonna have to sit there and vape a lot, you know, in order yeah. in order to get that feeling that, yeah. that you're after, and you know, that could be off-putting, especially when you first start. No, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm still at 24, and I use Genesis stuff, and people think you're crazy for using that high of a strength. But I don't vape a lot, you know. If I if I drop down to 18 or 12 or something, I would literally vape twice as much as I do if I'm vaping 24, you know. But at 24, I can vape two or three milliliters a day, and I'm and it's good, you know. I don't have to sit there and huff and huff and huff, you know. I could take two or three set it down and I'm good yeah you know and I like um, I like that part of it better some people want to sit there and puff on it because they like the flavor and they like blowing it out and all of that and I mean I enjoy that part too but I'm after the nicotine during my day at work you know I want to pick it up take a few puffs sit it down get back to work you know yeah it's uh, I, I'm a I'm all about the flavor I love the flavor <laughs> it's uh, well, yeah, nic nicotine without flavor isn't as good. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Stop. Uh, I went and looked at the chat again. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he was throwing that bingo wank thing around at me today, too. <laughs> this has to be like a dream show for him, you know what? <laughs> I, do have, exactly. I do have Jesus hair, does not. <laughs> It's it's kind of short. I cut a bunch of it off, so it does it doesn't even come around the side of my neck anymore because I I chopped a bunch off. Ah, uh, just I'm not quite as heavenly as I used to be. <laughs> All right, we kind of covered the the old uh, if you were stranded on a tropical island thing. We, I already yeah. I already nailed you for what three? Okay, current advocacy efforts by vapors do you think they're effective in ensuring the future of e-cigs do you think we're doing enough to pressure the governments or you know just advocacy you know what where do you think that needs to go uh I, i'm probably going to land myself right in it here uh i am pretty inefficient well let's face it i'm a lazy bastard when it comes to things like this um, I, I really, it's not something I, uh, well, hey, I don't every, even... that's the thing. Okay. Don't feel bad about that because I am not like the biggest go out and rally or anything like that either. I have gone before a couple of city councils here locally and just gotten up and given my opinion and stuff, but I'm not a big letter writer or anything, but that's not, I mean, I do some, but it, it's not really my place. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm more of a try to help people with the actual vaping end of it, but there are other people that enjoy that advocacy part of it. And I'm not asking you, you know, are you a lazy button, don't do any. I'm asking you, do you think that the efforts that are being made are, are working? I think that the efforts that a lot of these guys are doing, I mean, I do read about it. I mean, stuff like uh, Vapor Trails TV, Dave Dorn, and, uh, you know, the kind of stuff they have in that show. I mean that's commendable. I mean, you know, I mean these guys are going full on to, well, especially over here in uh, the UK. I mean, they really are pushing, raising people's awareness. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I tip my hat to them. I, I mean, that's all I can do. I mean, I don't get involved in it, but uh, you know, they're doing a great job. I mean, I, I'm kind of like you. I'm, my head, I've usually got my head down, you know, 
wrapping a coil and I've got a set of blinkers on and I just take it for granted that I don't take it for granted I mean I know there's a there's this big question mark over it but uh, yeah I personally I think it's here to stay I think it's just a question of uh, whether or not the government are going to get their pound of flesh or not at the end of the day uh, uh, yeah, well, I agree with that. You know, in the United States, it's already pretty much been established that vaping is here to stay. Now it's just a matter of how much money is the government going to take out of our pockets in our pursuit of the hobby. You know, what are they going to do with the e-liquid? You know, the, everything's already here. There's no going back at this point. No, no. I mean, that's... Uh... Everybody's stacking up the freezers with nicotine just now, anyway. So <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. But I, I, you know, and it's funny because the juice is like the last thing I'm worried about. You yeah, know, I'll, I'll find juice. It's, I'll, I'll uh... find it somewhere. You know, and if the, and if <laughs> they have, you know, they do something with the devices or whatever. Shock, I got enough rebuildable devices sitting around. <laughs> You know, hell, I can always pour straight PG in them if I need to and go get some food flavoring from the grocery store if it comes to that. Very, very true. It's, uh, I've got to ask, just totally off topic, do, do you know what a mullet is? Did he tell you to ask that? <laughs> no, I just saw a, a mullet is when... Okay, my, my hair is in a ponytail, but my hair is long all the, you know, from front to back. A mullet is what, like, we make fun of people that have mullets because their hair is cut short, but in the back, it's long. Yeah, yeah. So, it, it, it was nice in the 80s. I mean, it was. It right, was, right, it, in the 1980s. And see, I, I don't have a mullet, but that bastard will not leave it alone. He's, he's, a, to he's a tosser. <laughs> he's a tosser. A bloody tosser. <laughs> and he told me that, that I needed to watch the name calling tonight, but yeah. he has pulled out all the stops. I think that guy's drinking at 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> he is Scottish, but after all, yes, yes, that's fair. Uh, I'm not. I'm do. not so sure that he's not Irish masquerading as a Scottish. To be honest, I think he's just oh, 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 oh. opened a can of worms there, didn't I? He's just a, he's just a pair. I mean, <laughs> he's a pair of, pair of bollocks. <laughs> so I'm pulling out all the English words I know. Oh wait, he's not English. He's Scottish. Excuse me. All the UK-ish I know. Oh, there's a big difference there. Oh, big I know. Difference. I know. I I made the mistake of telling him one day that my uh, my great grandparents were English, and boy, well, I. I I heard about that. Fortunately, on the, fortunately on the other side, my, one of my great grandparents is Irish, so it got me a pass at least for a little while. <laughs> but see, I neglected to tell him that my my grandfather on that side was Polish, or I. But see, now he knows now, so I'm in trouble again. Yeah, that's you in big trouble. <laughs> See, I mean, it just comes back with a pitiful reply, like guff. I, I know, I know. I mean, what what kind of effort's that? Whenever, you, whenever just... you give him a good zinger, he just never has a comeback for it, or he just quits responding. <laughs> he goes back out in the shop and makes some more drip tips. <laughs> he does make exceedingly nice drip tips. That has to be said. <laughs> he does. He makes very fine drip tips. Yeah. Um... So I imagine you get a lot of new vapors. I mean, do you get a lot of new vapors? Because I know that you've been doing a lot of the more beginner-style devices and things here lately. You know, you've been doing a lot of the variable wattage and, you know, those kind of things here lately. What What are you telling new vapors? What advice are you giving them when they say, you know, Todd, I want to vape. What do I do? Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. I've got to. I mean, most folk that, that come and ask me a question, it's... Uh, the, the default answer is... Uh, Go and watch the videos. You know, <laughs> you know that's a cop out. It's a, it might be a cop out, but I mean, all my opinion. I mean, ugh, this is sounds terrible, but I mean, you do put a lot of time into the videos, and you know, all your opinions are there. Uh, 
but you know if somebody's on a an ego and they ask me where to go next I usually tell them to go and try a you know an ego twist or something along the lines of that see if they like it um, and uh, just take it from there it's uh, I don't think one thing I don't I don't think I've ever advised anybody to get into a mechanical no, not really. You know, not a new vapor. You know, I don't send them to the mechanicals. No, I'm one, no. Of, I'm one of those assholes that tells everybody to buy a Proveri, though. <laughs> I'm like, man, you know, because, I, I mean, I look around at my table, and, you know, at this point, the Proveri is one of the cheapest devices that I have sitting here. Now, it might be expensive when you're looking at Chinese stuff or when you compare it to the price of an Ego Twist, but, you know, a Proveri for 159 bucks. That's not that. Yeah. That's not that much money. I mean, but... I've 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 got my own thoughts on the Pravari. I, 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 it works. It it just does. It just works, it and works. it's it's it, it's well built. It's the most soulless device I've ever used. <laughs> 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 yeah, but they make J, they make J wraps for that now. Yeah, it's, I mean, uh, you can personalize your Pro Vary, and they make colors, yeah. and they make some that even look like dildos now. Oh God, the two point five. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's... see, like that. I have this one. You know, it's got a carbon fiber wrap on there, and I mean, it got a dripper on it. That's that's a good deal right there. That's that's just. No, it's, I've, I've had three of them, and I've sold them all or traded them all within a week of having one. You're stabbing, just, you're stabbing me in the heart, Todd. It's just, you, you know, you, you look at something like this, and it's it's just... Well, I mean, a mechanical versus a pro vary, now that's kind of a no-brainer, but... Yeah, but it's, I don't know. It's just it's. I think I said in a video I did once. It's like uh, it's like an Audi. You know, it's it's just it does the job it needs to do and it does it really well. Say, but it's just. But it's probably not going to get you laid. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is not a wardrobe pole. Blacksmith Pro. Come on, mate. <laughs> you know, I do need to express some disappointment in the fact that you don't have one of these anymore. Uh, the Prevari? No. Ah. Oh, ah. Yeah, <laughs> you were an Illuminati and you sold or traded it. I, I'm so ashamed of you. I, uh... That wasn't on the question list either, was it? No, no, you get... Uh, that went to uh, a lad in the UK and... Uh, who was desperate for one. I mean, this guy was saying, you know, he really, really wanted one, so uh, I I had offered, I put it up on my webpage and I had some crazy offers, really crazy offers, and I sold it for what I paid for it, and uh, I actually kept my standard i high that I had uh, and let the Illuminati go because the Illuminati was just—it was just sitting on the shelf. It, it had become a, an ornament, you know. Um, it was just. But it's, it such, too, it's such a nice trophy, though. Yeah, it is, and. Uh, <laughs> what? What did you just read? I'm just, uh, can I get a recording of this guy's voice? Uh, I uh, just... <laughs> I think she's saying you're sexy, Todd. Yeah. Um, I'm sexy in a, an old man kind of 
born in 1969 kind of way. Uh, <laughs> hey, me uh, too. <laughs> when's, your, when's your birthday, Todd? 23rd of July. Oh, uh, you're a little older than I am. Yeah. How about that? You are an old man. Thought I, I, I thought yeah. I was old. Yeah. 49. Uh, right, I'm going to hide those comments again. There we go. <laughs> oh, every time you start paying attention, they'll come after you. <laughs> they'll come after you and try and distract you. The Scots seem to seems to have settled down a little bit, though. Yeah, he's uh, the Viagra's probably wearing off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you what do you see like in the industry? What what's going to be the next big thing, man? The next big thing. I wow. saw somebody earlier asking if you had a DNA twenty mod yet. Did you get a DNA twenty? I did a review on a DNA 20 mod called the Mini Atom that uh, there's this guy down south in England uh, just works in his shed in his spare time and he throws things together and he built brass mahogany DNA 20 mod it was the most beautiful thing it really was uh, and uh, then I got uh, somebody sent me an Alto an Altoids tin, and they'd made a DNA twenty mod out of it. And I have to say that uh, I think the DNA twenty is a fantastic bit of kit. I really do. I like it a lot. Um, but you're not uh, using one. Uh, no, it's out in the shed. It's out in the shed just now. Uh, I usually use it when I'm working in the garden or on the car or something like that. Do, um, do you put a Genesis tank on it? I, d I do, yeah. Uh, I, I tend to use uh, my Penelope Euphoria type device on it. Okay. Uh, just because of it, you know, I can leave it lying on its side and it doesn't leak because uh, it tends to fall over. Uh, what kind of wattage are you setting it on? Because a lot of people are kind of they kind of wishy-washy as far as the uh, the Genesis tanks go because it does go to twenty watts, but yeah. it, but it has a six amp rating. Yes, you know some of them are using lipo battery packs, but others are using either single eighteen six fifties or dual eighteen six fifties. Yeah. So you know a lot of people that want to go to you know that want to use sub ohm, you know a sub ohm isn't really ideal for a DNA twenty. With a single yeah. with a single eighteen six fifty turned at twenty watts, you know you it, you sort of have to know what you're do, what you're working with to be able to put the right resistance on it to get the wattage that you're after based on the battery you have. Well, the the mini atom. I mean, the guy's actually building me one this week. Uh, he's using the the lipo battery. He's putting a twelve hundred mol in it for me just to keep it the form factor the way I like it. Right. Uh, the Altoid tin mod I have to use twin eighteen six fifties in it. Um let's say I'm usually about the one one point two ohm so you know I'm I'm fine with it. It's uh, what kind of uh, what kind of water are you setting that at? I'm I'm usually about twelve. I mean I'm usually quite happy with that. And what kind of uh, what kind of voltage is that kicking out? Uh, that's usually about 3.6, 3.7. Oh, that's not bad. If I remember right, yeah. Um, I don't do all uh, that. I don't do that math in my head that well. I thought maybe you'd remember the settings. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just an ignorant Scotsman. I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I use a phone app to do Ohm's law. <laughs> uh, so that yeah, I love the DNA twenty. I, I much prefer it to the Malo to should I say this? I much prefer it to the Nivelle. I'm, I'm not a... Oh, the Nivel chip? Nivel chip, yeah. Yeah. I, I did have a shot of one of them. Uh, I just found the menu system to be a bit... Yeah, the Nivel, uh, the Nivel chip is like button, 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 button. You're pushing that button a million times to get anywhere on it. Yeah, yeah. So I've got... Uh, I'll be getting a hold of the, the Semivore. Uh so it'll be interesting to see how that, you know, what that's like with the, the Nivel chip in it. Uh, but uh, no, no, that's about it. And uh, 
with any luck I'll hopefully be happy. I don't know if you're going for one the the elevator. I saw, I saw those, but I didn't buy one. That was a little pricey for me. Yeah, I'm hopefully getting a hold of one, so uh, we'll see how that goes. See how that goes. Yeah, uh, that, that was a little bit above my pay grade for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got enough other things that I have to pay for. I, I was looking at it, and I was like calculating up everything else I'm going to have to pay in the next month, and it didn't look good for it, so... <laughs> So I let that one go. But, I mean, it's it does look nice. It's a tube mod with a DNA 20, you know. It's, that's the first one. So, you know, all the DNA 20 is all in uh, box mods at the moment. Oh, gosh. Why would I... I am wearing decent clothes. What are you talking about? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to auction one of these shirts one of these days and see how much money I get for it. <laughs> I, I, I can't actually comment on that because, you know, I, I, I wear some right crap when I'm doing the reviews. <laughs> if, yeah, if I'm, I'm going to have my wife knit you a new Cardi one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's my wife's cardigan. <laughs> oh, no. You didn't need to say that. No, no, no. I just said that to make somebody happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh uh, oh just in case anybody was wondering I know that it's after 9 o'clock but we get an hour and a half tonight because we're special because <laughs> Bruce isn't coming he's not He's not showing up oh we, need, oh we need to finish that question so what do you see coming down the line what do you think like the next big innovation is next big innovation do you have any uh, idea anything in your mind that you'd like to see somebody do that they haven't done yet I, do you know, I, I probably might be the wrong person because, you know, I'm mechanical with a, a decent atomizer on top and I'm happy as a pig in shit, you know, it's, uh, I don't really want for anything else. Uh, stainless steel rope, do you know, that was brilliant. Oh, do you, have you heard about the ghetto wick? Oh, God, don't you start. <laughs> You haven't, you, haven't, yeah. you haven't used any ghetto wick yet? I, I tried it. I did try it, but then I gave up and I just, I, you know, I've got loads of stainless steel rope. And Man, it's so easy to make. It's it's eight strands of 28 gauge wire twisted together. And, yeah. And then you just wrap mesh around it. Yeah. See, the thing I didn't like the, about the rope is that it kind of, it over wicks. Mm -hmm. And I, I, don't, I wasn't liking the over wicking. And see, this wicks fast, but it doesn't over wick. Yeah, I, th I think just with the rope, you just have to find the the tilt. There's a, a sweet spot that you'll find in it. Oh, so you know, you're saying balance. so you're saying I'm just not doing it right? Yeah, I'm saying you pretty much suck at this. So I mean, just <laughs> you're not the first person to tell me I'm not doing it right because I apparently <laughs> apparently I'm too stupid to use an amp tank too. <laughs> I've, I've been I've been told that quite a few times. You just you're just stupid. You don't know how to use it. What do you mean? <laughs> the atomizer inside my amp tank vapes great. <laughs> yeah, the atomizer vapes great, but the tank kind of sucks. Yeah, I know. That's sad. Uh... Yeah, save your money. You don't need to get one of those. Just watch my video, and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dude, I watch all your videos. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, I'm a subscriber. <laughs> oh wow, God, I'm gonna—I need to step up my game now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to step up my game. Oh, you know what? Tri you know what freaked me out one day was when Grim was when Grim Green subscribed to my channel. <laughs> I say I saw that in my email. I'm like, Grim Green is subscribed to your YouTube channel. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> so so how how close are you to uh, 5000 subscribers then oh you're asking about my contest would you like to see the devices i'm giving away <laughs> Go on. we will be giving away a hellraiser le nice a kef hybrid is the kef any good is it 
The Kef, it's pretty good. When I got it, it had a, uh, it was supposed to have a 1.1 millimeter air hole in it. And yeah. I got it and I'm looking at it, I'm like, there's no way. And I grabbed a bit and, and tried to stick a 0.8 millimeter bit in it and it wouldn't go in. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that all about? So I ended up drilling it out. It's it's maybe 1.12, somewhere in there now. And I got that part fixed. And it came with this weird like hot spring in the bottom of it for some reason that I don't really know. And I ended up taking the hot spring out and I just made a copper contact out of some wire and put that in the bottom of it instead. And that, now it works great. You know, it, it, it took like two little things to make it work. The, it's a really good hybrid, but with using bottom buttons all the time, it's got this, you pull the top down to fire it, and my hand does not like that motion. It does, I, I, I cannot, get, I can't get myself to do that. Oh, you're going to regret that statement. Oh, I know. Well, you know, I don't usually squeeze down. So... Okay. But it's a good hybrid. It works really good. It has good flavor, and I mean, there's there's no problems with it or anything. It's it's just not mine, and I figured, what the hell? Somebody else wants it, so I'm gonna give it away. <laughs> and then we have we have a V2 Pro Vary with a blue LED. Nice. And then I have a, an Astro mod, one of the Astro telescoping mods from Kato. I'm giving one of those away. And I'm giving away an Avenger V3. Serial number 12, by the way. Mm. Avenger V3. And all we have to do is get me to 5,000 subscribers because I am now going to be a YouTube whore. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, like Todd, we are not influential. Ah, oh, come on. It okay. took, me, it we are, took we, me a year to get to 5,000. <laughs> we, we are not influential in the vaping community, nor did we whine to get put on the list after the fact like some other people. <laughs> what I, list was I, this? I just stepped in it right there, didn't I? What, what list was this? An insignificant one. Because all lists are insignificant, except for the one that you're on waiting for the next device. Those are the only lists that I care about. <laughs> I'll have to be honest. You've absolutely lost me in that one. You don't know about the list? No. Oh, get out of here. No, honestly, I don't. Okay, I don't. so... Some... I think it was Smoker's Angel put out a list a couple of weeks ago. The top twenty. Oh, the that top, one. Yeah, the top twenty most influential vapors in, and it was ten in the United States and ten in in Europe. Ah, oh, pile of pesh. It was well, <laughs> the one in Europe didn't even have Scott on it. Yeah, that was ridiculous. It really was. You know, and then the one in the United States. I mean, it has some lovely people that I do like, but they didn't really necessarily deserve to be on the list of most influential vapors. Hmm. I don't think I deserve to be on the list of influential vapors either. But then there were some other people that were like, how come I didn't make the list? And then a week later, all of a sudden, they're getting honorable mentions on the list. Yeah. And I was uh, like, okay, that's... it was bad. The first list was bad enough, but now you've just made it worse. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would agree with that. <laughs> and, see, it uh -huh. and see, a lot of that, I think, sort of had to do with YouTube subscribers. Well, I have this many YouTube subscribers. Well, I have like five times more views than what somebody else might have had. But, you yes. know, I I don't put subscribe on all of my YouTube videos to urge people to go and subscribe. So my subscribers have kind of lagged. My views are good, but my subscribers have lagged. So I'm basically in the process of proving that I can buy people's love. <laughs> I like that. Well, hey, <laughs> I like you, that. You, you give stuff away, don't you? I give stuff away every you, week. You have contests and say, hey, I'm giving something away. I mean, you don't say you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get it. I mean, I... But I, I re refuse to put 
any kind of advertising or stress that people have to do something to win something. Uh, okay, so I'm being point. a so I'm being a dick. I don't even really care. <laughs> it's yeah, it's kind of past that point. You've made your point. I know who you're on about, so that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not giving in. It's 5,000 or bust. And I'll tell you what, since I put that up there, I put that up like, what, Friday night, I think? Yeah. I've, I've gotten 1,000 subscribers. Well, I think I'll put something up on my Facebook page just to point this competition out. <laughs> please, please do. Please do. <laughs> just there. Uh, yeah. It's, every single one helps. I have you on the side of my YouTube channel, but for other eSig reviewers... Yeah, I don't know if I you don't have you. that. There's like there's like a list there that you can put other channels on, and I have you, I have you on that other channels thing on the side there. So if anybody's on my page and they wanna, they go, this guy's a dick. They can look over there and go, oh, that Todd guy looks cool. I'll click on him instead. <laughs> I guess it fluid vapor whips. Then they've got three hundred and fifty thousand video views on YouTube. Who has have what? They're saying they've got 350,000 YouTube views. No biggie. Yeah, that's about that's about what I have. I think I think he's being a smart ass. Yeah, I've got 850,000. Meh. Yeah, well. <laughs> but you have 5,000 subscribers and you've been doing it for a year. Yeah. I'm a so, so technically I'm gaining on you. Yeah, all kidding aside and uh, I'm whatnot. Just, I am just kidding, you know. Yeah, I mean, YouTube subscribers really doesn't... It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it doesn't really mean shit to me, you know. I, you, oh. You're, like, religious about doing YouTube videos. I, like, do one every couple of weeks, maybe, you know. And every once in a while, I'll have, like, several things sitting here, and I'll knock out two or three in a row, and, you know, and then it'll be another few weeks or three weeks before I do another <laughs> one, and... I'm not religious about it at all. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I'm just kind of sad when it comes to that kind of thing. No, that's it's good. Sad. That's good. I, I, you know, that's why I wanted you to come on because you do, you know, you're not going to necessarily be everybody's style, but you're covering a wide variety of things. So if somebody was actually to go to your channel and, and spend a little bit of time and even if they're not watching a whole video, if they watch a little bit of one about something, a little bit of another yeah. one, they kind of get a sense of who you are, you know, what kind of stuff you like and what you don't like, and then they can watch maybe a video about what it is, you know, what you review that they're interested in, and then they can understand, you know, where is Todd coming from when he's saying this or that about this thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, so having a... Having, more videos really is kind of good because you know you've you've covered a wide variety of different you know subjects and different devices you're you're not like me where you go to my channel and it's pretty much just genesis atomizers and and mechanical devices and that's it yeah yeah you know it's it's, uh, it's hard though <laughs> it, it's hard to i mean that's the thing i mean when you're kind of like you i mean when you're you're passionate about you know, mechanicals and stuff like that. It, it, it's hard to, you know... It's hard to step back and do a cardo tank, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Fuck, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not easy. Uh, but, you know, it's... Well, I notice you get a lot of these Segellis and you're and it's like, you get it and the thing's shit. And then, you're, and then you mod it so that you can tell people watching the video, well, I got it, it was shit, but here's how you can fix it to make it vape good. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, it's just... Look, I mean, that's... I mean, fo I mean you know, fo everybody's in a different budget. I mean, at the end of the day, we've all got bills to pay and stuff like that. And, you know, just... Uh, okay, you can, let's just say all you can do is afford, say, a Segele 19. I mean... You know, the Segele 19, as it comes, is a piece of shit. I mean, it really is. Uh, but, I mean... And what's, brand... the, what's the 19? Which, what, what what are they cloning with that one? Uh, they were, what were they cloning with that one? I don't think they were cloning much of anything. It's got a slant top and telescopic and... Is that the, uh, is that the one, the Enzonic? Is that, does it look like this? 
it is a bit of the Enzonic, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, very similar. Uh, in fact, it's identical. Who am I kidding? Okay. Uh, so what are you saying? They didn't clone anything. Sorry? I said, you just said, well, they didn't really copy anything. No, I was <laughs> I was thinking of the, <laughs> the 20, because the, oh, the 20 was a... Twenty was a total clone of the the roller. Oh. Uh, no, was it the twenty that was a clone of the roller? Because they've just released a twenty B, uh, and now the twenty B is. Now this is bad. I mean, this is it's actually got it's a, a clone of the Enzonic with a flat top, but they've still got the same you know the Filipino Filipino flag. On top of the Ensonic, you know how you've got the the nine cutouts, right? Well, they've actually copied that as well. Oh my god! <laughs> it's, I mean, it's just it's, they have no they have no shame. <laughs> no, no, none at all, none at all. Uh, but uh, I'm a review. As somebody once said to me, I'm a reviewing who and uh, I'll. You know, I would review a piece of shit if it was lying in front of me. And, and for uh, those of you that didn't understand that, he said whore. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're a reviewing whore. <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, Do you own that, Todd? Are you, feel, you okay with that? I'm okay with that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I have to. I really wanted to adopt the stance where I can just say no to clones. I'd love to be able to. Do, I'd love to do that, but then so many people buy them, and we're we're not going to change that. that. No matter what we do now, I don't think anybody will change that. Uh, <laughs> can you do an American accent? I can't, no. Every accent I do sounds like I'm either Welsh or uh, Pakistani. If I try and do a Scottish accent, I will butcher it because I'll sound like Scotty on Star, Star Trek. Oh, Bishop Heels, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> no, forget about it. <laughs> that is one dude that just cracks me up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it just uh, forget about it. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that was a little Margaret Thatchery, wasn't it? <laughs> what is it? Forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> it's just I, I, I just watch his videos just so I can hear what music's playing in the background. You know, <laughs> just, it's just just, just so you can laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a big cuddle bear, isn't he? He is. <laughs> uh, I bet I've got to say, learned a lot from his videos. Uh, learned a hell of a lot. Um, well, what you were saying about the uh, about the clones and stuff, you know, I have to agree with you. You know, you if you're, I mean, I'm not really doing them. Not that I'm not going to do them in the future more, but I've I've done a few of the uh, Chinese made Genesis atomizers. Yeah. And by far, they are the most viewed videos on my channel. That was a brave thing you did with the RSST. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a, I thought I was going to catch a bunch of flack for that, but I really didn't. Yeah, you, you should have smashed it up with a mallet and uh, a blowtorch. That would... Uh, no, who am, I, who, am, who am I kidding? I mean, I've I got three of them. <laughs> you know? That little, um, that little thing works good, man. And, you know, for 30 bucks, there's, there really isn't anything you can buy for $30 that works as well as that. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, but, I mean, I mean, that's that. even in saying that, as much as I love it, I still feel for the vendors that went out stocked up in the real thing, the AC9, and, <laughs> and everybody's buying these RSSTs, you know, it's... Well, everybody knows my feelings about the people that made the AC9, so I don't feel quite as bad about it. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I don't feel quite as bad. Yeah. But, uh, 
<laughs> some pulled up points. Um, so I've I've always wondered. I'm sure other people do. What do you do for a living, Todd? What's your What do you do in the real world? I'm a rent boy. A what? A rent boy. A rent boy. Yes. What the hell is that? Uh, I, I work down at uh, a place called. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just got it. <laughs> he rents his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say it, but I thought I'd let him clarify before. <laughs> no, I, I I work in... <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Uh, I work in... Uh, I work in IT. Um, oh, so uh, you're a computer geek. Yes. I used to work for a living, I used to, uh, but uh, now I work in IT. Uh, I worked in uh, trawlers for many years, and uh, then I taught myself IT, and uh, and I've been doing it ever since. So, what do you do when you're not vaping? Like, do you have any other hobbies, or is this pretty much taken over your life? Uh, it's kind of taken over my life. I used to be a, a petrol head. Uh, that would be uh, Motorhead to you Americans. Yeah. Uh, I just love love my cars. Uh, love my cars. Uh, still do, but, uh, you know, I used to... I can... The vaping gear I can buy for the price of, you know, an exhaust or a muffler, as I think you call it. Uh, you know, it's... <laughs> Yeah, you get all kinds of good vaping stuff for what that shit costs, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just so it's uh, it's actually saved me a lot of money. <laughs> so what were you doing? Were you did, were you like drag racing or were you what were you? No, into? I was. Uh, I think it's what the uh, uh, do you call them imports or uh, racers that you call them over there? I think or uh, I like my Japanese cars. Um, so you're, doing, but, you're uh, doing like road racing, like rally racing. Used to, yeah, uh, used to. Uh, but uh, now it's. Uh, and I used to buy a, a classic car, and I used to restore it over the summer and winter, and uh, so. But uh, now nah, it, it's all vaping now, and if I'm not, if it's not vaping stuff, then I'm catching up on my social life and. <laughs> Try, trying to stay out of trouble with the does, wife. You I was going to say, does your wife miss you? <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> How long have you been married, Todd? Uh, we've been together for 22 years. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, so she's, uh, she's a good girl. She looks after me. <laughs> well, she puts up with you. That's a... That's a plus right there, you know. Yeah. I've been married for 18 years, and she still tolerates my ass. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> not always easy, uh, but no, it's it's <laughs> not. It's uh, and and here's a strange thing. I make of this what you will, but but Karen, my wife, bought my shed for me. Really? Uh, I, Was it a? What, to, to vape in? Uh, I think it was just to get rid of me, uh, actually. <laughs> but she didn't put any heat in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, no. At least you have electricity out there, I guess. Yes, I do have that. I do that. It's just a new thing in Scotland, but we do have it. Electricity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you're killing me. Well, right. is there anything else that you would like to let everybody know or anything you want to say or anything like that? Because we are coming up. we got about five minutes left here, and usually when we get to this time, it's time to wrap up, and then I run through and say everybody's name that actually hung out and watched the show for the whole time. And Right. Uh, the only kind of thing I'd like to say is thank you for having me. <laughs> Hey, I'm it's glad you came. It was all kind of short notice, you know. We just the idea uh, the idea got thrown out there this afternoon, and I hit uh, you up on Facebook, and you're like, "Oh, no dick jokes, right?" 
And once I assured you that there would be no dick jokes, then we were on. I don't know. I think you kind of pulled off your own dick joke with the Keith hybrid there. I think uh, the old hand action. But it wasn't directed at you. No. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't point it at you. Oh, 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 oh. Pulled off another one. Woo! <laughs> uh, no, I'd like. Thanks for having us here. Uh, the only thing I'd like to say is, um, do you know it's the one thing I'd, I'll, and this might sound a bit crap, is that, you know, if you watch my videos, uh, you know, just remember it's 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 my opinion, and it's only my opinion, and you know, before you. Where'd you go, Todd? Oh, I think Todd just froze up. Well, it was a good time for him to freeze up because we were getting to the end anyway. Oh, wait, did you come back? Are you still there? I'm still on the connection. All right, there you go. It, it, we got a little blip in the internet there for a second. All right, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so it's just my opinion. Uh, before you buy anything, go off, watch other videos, other reviews like uh, you know, by AG himself and stuff like that. Uh, and 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 you know, the main thing is, if you're a hater, ah, oh, just fuck off and leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you're if you hate Todd, come on over to my channel. Because <laughs> I'm I'm easy to hate. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I, don't, I don't know how you can hate that guy. He's he's just too nice to everybody. I'll right. tell you. I'll, We're gonna I'll sell you some some subscribers. I'll sell them to you. Really, I'm going. They're going. I figured between uh, the the cost of my mods and going for five thousand, they were going to cost me about thirty cents a piece. So I'll give you thirty cents per. That's a going rate. <laughs> no problem, mate. Listen, thanks again, dude. <laughs> thanks very much. And you can hang around while I say hi to everybody. Let's see, we it, have yeah. Vapor Stacks, Vapor Break, Todd is here, The Scott, Teacup, Stub, Sleddy, Red Wolf, Paul, Moral, Mastiff, Lakotis, Jeremy, Jack Flash, Hot Mama, Gyromite, Great, Escalade, Ed, DM, Das Fast, Dan Patrick, Chuck, C. Gallagher, Big Slim, Apex, Amazing, you stink, Vapor Geek Boy, Vapalicious, Unru, Taylor, Sheila, Shadow, Scott, Roar, Phantom Peace, Paz, Ovain, Norway, Nancy, Nam, Mr. Vapor, KD, Cats, Genie K, JRT, J Paradise, Hawkeye, Harley, Fluid Vapor, Feed Me Coffee, Deeds Debo, Double G, Cisco, Catbox, Captain Louisville, Breathe Easy, Beanpole, Angel Vape, my brother from another mother, Mr. BSP, Crazy Lloyd, Bishop Heels, and the Vaughn Chatbot. That is going to be all for this edition of the Vaping, the, the vaping Evolution with Almighty God. Thank you to Todd. I appreciate you staying up late. Hope you uh, aren't too tired at work tomorrow. <laughs> So do I. <laughs> and we are going to get out of here. Thanks for coming, everybody. I will see you again next week.